Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for New in Beauty June 2018. Every month I share with you new product launches that pique my interest and I also offer a giant bag of goodies as a giveaway. This month is pretty intense. This bag full of goodies. There's some really nice stuff in here, a lot of really luxury skincare. A little peek of what's in here, make sure you stay till the end of the video. Let's get started with new beauty product launches. Oh, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, stop, pause, click that subscribe button, and it will qualify you for my giveaways. Also, turn on that bell notification, and every time I upload a new video, which is three to four times right now a week, it will hopefully let you know whenever I have a new video up on my channel. Who knows, YouTube sometimes doesn't notify you even if you're signed up, but at least you might have more of a chance seeing my videos. And if not, check back my main channel page every week because I promise you there'll be at least two to three, sometimes four videos every week. Just check my main channel page. I'm very excited to be like back in the groove of things. I was traveling a lot in May, most of May. It's taken me a while to get back on schedule. I'm still kind of behind schedule, but I have so much fun content for you guys. Lots of spa treatments, a lot of facial videos coming up, lots of fun, fun things. Starting with Bare Minerals, there are these new Gen Nude eyeshadow palettes and I am freaking obsessed. A lot of you guys were asking me what I was wearing in my last few videos. It's these eyeshadow palettes and I did do a Get Ready With Me which should be up very soon using one of these palettes. There are four. This is the Rose eyeshadow palette and I've been wearing this one this last week. I don't wear all six shades. I just kind of like go in there with a shimmer, a little brow highlight, maybe deepen up my crease, but really beautiful. I have for the longest time said that Bare Minerals was not getting enough credit for their pressed eyeshadows, especially their shimmers. Their pressed eyeshadows have always been top-notch quality, so I'm happy that they launched these palettes. They're perfect for travel, perfect for the no-fuss kind of gal, perfect for someone who doesn't need 30 eyeshadows every day because you can create so many looks with just six. So this is the copper shade, and I've already dug my brush in there as well. The neutral one, and this one I thought was the one I was going to love the most, but in fact, Rose was the one I've been reaching out for the most. And now looking at it, I'm probably gonna rotate this into my makeup look. This is also in Latte. This is beautiful. You've got that beautiful gold, which is what I used to always look for, but now I've kind of like evolved. My makeup look is just like one shadow, two shadow, maybe three, and I don't wear as much gold. This might be fun throwback for me to play with. Love these two warm shades down here. These are new to Bare Minerals, along with that they have revamped the Gen Nude eyeshadow primers. So I've been playing with three shades. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. there's eight total. These are really great base primers for your eyeshadows, but I like using them alone and then putting a shimmer over top of it. Your makeup is not going to go anywhere with this underneath. So I have been using this one actually on its own with a little shimmer on top. This is in the shade Base Ick, Base Dash Ick, and it's just a really pretty like coffee shade on the lids. It really gets rid of any of those fine lines. Um, for me, it's a lot of veininess on my eyelids. This is a great one to brighten up your eyelid and then go in with eyeshadows. So this is in the shade uh, Bright AF is in the shade Woke. I did use this one, which is a really pretty orangey shade, and then I blended in a little bronze shimmer over that as well. And then there's Lit, Undressed, Low Key, Turned Up, and Exposed. I haven't played with those just yet, but really fun, really good. Don't think you need all of them, but I would say for my personal recommendation, go with something that's very natural, like the basic, and then go with something very brightening for when you want to create a really bright um, deep or just don't want your eyeshadow to go anywhere. This is right uh, bright AF which is perfect for like a beautiful like heavier eyeshadow look. Bare Minerals also launched the One Fine Line Eyeliners and these are super super thin micro liner eyeliners and I have tested out the brown one Straight Spice. These are so freaking thin. They remind me of the Hourglass really thin one. The Hourglass like is it one millimeter, three millimeter. They have one very similar, but it's only in black. And this comes in the brown. This also comes in one, two, three, four, five other shades. You've got purple, a gray, a black, an espresso, and a true navy. The navy and the plum might work really well 
for um, brightening up my brown eyes. The black is gonna be awesome for when I do deeper looks. And then espresso, I might try out the espresso one too. For getting in between the lash line and also for tight lining. Um, it might take a little bit to kind of create any noticeable noticeable eyeliner look because they're so thin I have some new products from buxom i have been obsessed with this lip liner it's the plump line lip liner and it's in the shade undercover i have been wearing this i line my lips i fill it in there's also a brush on this end but i don't really need the brush and it lasts super long it's really pigmented really gorgeous it's not drying it feels comfortable on the lips it's just a beautiful color so if you've seen me on insta stories wearing like a burnt reddish shade this is it and then i also have the shade in incognito this is a really pretty like your lips but better shade maybe a little bit peachier it's, it reminds me of spice almost so i could definitely see myself loving this one as well these are really great i am really impressed with some of these buxom products that were sent to me because because I kind of had forgotten about them, but they're so good. With Buxom, I've been loving, loving the Smoldering Brown Sexy Smoky Kajal Powder Liner. I featured it in Makeup Bag Monday. I've been using it on Insta Stories, and it's so good. It makes drawing your eyeliner super easy. It's highly pigmented. It lasts a very long time. It doesn't smudge on me, but it makes eyeliner so much easier. And I think if you have trouble with eyeliner, this is something you might really want to look into. It's also a sultry black shade and you can smudge these out you can create a really beautiful smoky eye um, it doesn't tug on my lash line whatsoever so yay for no wrinkles i love them they're so good i just feel like no one's talked about them i didn't, I didn't even know these existed and they're one of my favorite eyeliner products right now. The final thing from Buxom that's new is the Top Coat Full On Plumping Lip Polish, and there are eight shades. The Camellia Top Coat, and so I think these look really good on top of that lip liner, or if you wanted to use it on top of a matte, or if you just wanted to wear it alone. These are supposed to be, um, it's interesting because the spoolie is actually all plastic, and then it, you just go over it and it's got that like shimmery effect, almost metallic and it smells like vanilla. It smells so good. Mm. It definitely just makes your lips look a little bit glossier, a little bit more pouty, you know, all that stuff. Ooh, it's minty too. It doesn't taste minty, but I feel a tingle. I'm feeling a tingle. Pout plumping prismatic lip effect tingling sensation unique layering applicator so the applicator is built in so that it doesn't drag the product that you are wearing underneath you can probably wear these alone i'm wearing this over a lip liner right now i like the effect i love the way it smells kula has a new sun care product and this is the ocean salted sage scalp and hair mist broad spectrum spf 30 scalp sunscreen mist with manola oil and go-to cola extract I actually am notoriously bad about protecting my scalp but it makes sense because especially if you ever worn your hair parted and gone to the beach or the pool and then you get scalp burn yeah that's not good I'm excited that they created this so if I wanted to part my hair or I can put it like where I think I might get exposure like usually right here and spray that into my hair and protect it with SPF 30 I like that it's uh, a sheer liquid too so you can reapply it pretty easily. We'll see how this um, works with my hair, if it makes it greasier or if it dries it out. Drunk Elephant launched a new de-bronzy anti-pollution sunshine serum. This is a antioxidant bronzing serum and the bronzing is just from here so it's not going to self tan you or anything like that. What they recommend you do is mix it with their favorite products like the marula oil or their sheer sunscreen or your moisturizer. I've mixed it with my SPF, I've mixed it with my moisturizer, I've mixed it with the marula oil. I think it's really nice to give yourself this bronzy look. You can apply it not only on your face, but anywhere that is exposed, which helps boost the antioxidants when you're out in the sun. Antioxidants is one of the most important things you need to do for yourself and apply every single morning, as well as SPF. So if you do those two things, you can prevent a lot of aging, a lot of issues that might come up later on in life. And I wish I knew about antioxidants when I was in my 20s because that's when I really should have started teens and 20s I have been using this in conjunction with my sunscreen or my moisturizer or the marula oil it's very sheer very lightweight you get a gentle bronze a little goes a long way and of course build this up 
I like a gentle bronze. Um, I don't see a huge difference other than the bronzing effect, but I've only tested it out for about a week and a half. I'm sure it's benefiting my skin with the antioxidants. Um, I do also still use my vitamin C serums in the morning though, and I think just having everything together is always good for strengthening your skin and helping it fight the uh, free radicals and the pollution that your skin encounters every day. And it has cocoa extract and platinum peptides. So if you wanted something that was very bronzy, but also good for your skin, check this out. I also like that you can use it all over your body, so it is adding benefits, because I'm starting to notice like my legs especially, as I've aged, I did not take care of my leg skin, or my legs, and I definitely need to start doing that. So I do dry brush, and I do use a lot of bath oils and body oils now that I'm older, but I should have taken care of my legs a little bit younger when I was younger. Ula Hendrickson has a new cold plunge pore mask. It's supposed to reduce oil, purifies, and reduce the appearance of pores, oily in combination skin. I am more normal skin, slightly oily, so I have to wait for when I'm oily to use this. I actually like being oily because oily skin means less wrinkles when I get older. I turned 30, my skin literally shriveled and dried up. Part of it I think was my diet and part of it was also because I think I was just really, really unhealthy for a while. If you guys don't know, on my second channel, Chris and I did um, talk about our current diet regimen and what we're doing. And when I started the diet, my within the first week, both our skin look so good. And I was like, oh wow, I thought my skin looked good before, but this diet has really transformed my skin, which is crazy. And I think it was just a lot of purging, a lot of inflammation we both had, and yeah. So anyways, I am a little bit more oily now, so I'll test this out when I'm more oily and see how it works. It's cold plunge pore mask, clay and snow lotus extract. Sounds interesting. I like Ole Hendrickson. I used to like their foaming cleanser. The African um, something, the red African cleanser. That was like my favorite one for a while. Sticking with the green theme, Briogeo launched new shampoo and conditioners. This is the Be Gentle, Be Kind Matcha and Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo and Conditioner. This smells so amazing. I love the way this smells. It smells like green apples and it's my favorite scent that Briogeo products have. I love Briogeo products. I love their Scalp Revival line. I love their Rosarco line. And I also love their Co-Wash. So this one is winning because I love the scent. It's good everyday situation for me. I do wash my hair every other day, sometimes every day, depending how greasy I get. And I love that it has no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. So it's a little healthier if I have to use it every single day. And it's gentle enough for me to use it every single day if I needed to. So love these, love the new packaging. I actually really, really love this packaging. I have a, I hate the Rosarco deep conditioner packaging in the jar and also the Scalp Revival deep shampooing treatment in the jar because I feel like I get water in it. I hate sticking my fingers in it in the shower, but I do love the new packaging of this product. I still love the other two products. I just feel like it goes, it gets kind of goopy before I finish it. Makeup Forever recently launched new artist color pencils and these can be used on the eyes, lips, brows, and face. So doing a really cool kind of donation situation. So from May 16th through June 16th, if you create a look using these pencils and you use the hashtag accepted anywhere, Makeup Forever will donate $10 to the Hendrick Martin for every post that follows the guidelines. The minimum con contribution will be $10,000 and up to $39,000. They customized my little pencil case, which is awesome. Many beautiful pencils, and you can use them all over the face. So it's literally like colored pencils for the makeup lover, for the creative soul out there. Indie Lee has some new product packaging at Sephora. This is the Brightening Cleanser. I actually really love this cleanser. It smells so good. It smells like grapefruit and it's a really clean, toxic-free brand. I also had Indie Lee herself on my podcast, Behind the Beauty Podcast. If you don't know, I have a podcast where I interview founders, uh, beauty lovers, beauty creators, and brands. Indie Lee was up on the podcast and she talks about how she created her skincare line and she survived brain cancer. Very powerful woman. So I always love supporting her. I love her brightening cleanser because it smells so 
freaking amazing. Then there's the Q10 toner. This is one of my favorite toners as well. It is super, super gentle, but effective at the same time. And oh, it comes in a spray bottle now, which I appreciate. I love the fact that she switched it to a spray. Happy to have a new one. Perfect, great for all skin types, very gentle, but still really effective at balancing out your skin before going in with your serums and your moisturizers and even your makeup. Scott Vincent Borba has created little bonbons that are also beauty supplements. So these, based on what you need, there's a couple different, there's lollipops, there's these bonbons, but basically this is the inside out solution that they sent me and it's engineered with nutraceutical blend of potent hydrators and antioxidants that are beneficial for your skin. Um, there's hyaluronic acid, liquid, I, ionic fruit concentrates are scientifically designed to soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while helping to increase skin's luminosity. So these are the Rosy Glow Bonbons. You can take four daily, and this is for hydration, firming, age-defying, and illuminating. A way to get your supplements in, especially if you're into beauty supplements. I can't really take these right now because I'm on the keto diet and there's 11 grams of carbohydrates, but... After my 30 days, I might incorporate these and check them out. Jouer Cosmetics launched some beautiful travel-themed jet set products. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Jouer Cosmetics. This is the Essential Jet Set Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is absolutely stunning. I love the colors that they chose. I think it's very good for a travel palette. I think she did a really good job. I love how sleek this packaging is. Definitely something to look into if you're drawn to these shadows. I love that Christina keeps it talc-free eyeshadows and that she makes sure they're pigmented but easy to blend. Love Christina because she's just as picky as I am. Also, they have bronzer duos. So excited about this. I was a huge suntan bronzer fan back in the day from Jouer when they had the connecting little puzzle piece type of products. And I was kind of sad to see that it had been discontinued, but nope, it was just repackaged better and improved. So you'll get sunlight and suntan. I like to mix both of these and use it all over the face. The deeper duo, which you will then have sunset and sun kissed. I also use this as well. Sun kissed is a really beautiful shade for me. And sunset is a little bit deeper, which works on my eyes. So I love that they make them duos because then it's like uh, winter and summer in one, or you can mix both. Jouer also has a new highlight. This is Celestial. Their powder highlights are always beautiful. This is a really pretty, almost like a pinky shimmer, but not overly pinky. Very, very subtle, very refined, very beautiful, not powdery whatsoever. It's the Jet Set Lip Trios. So you'll get a lip liner and then you'll get uh, two little mini lip liquid lip creams. These are all kind of mixed up for me because I did get mine in a PR package and to kind of just get boxes out of my house, I just take them out. So I'm not quite sure which ones goes with which at this point, but they're all really, really beautiful. You get a lip liner. I'm a huge fan of Jouer lip liners. They're super long lasting, really creamy, beautiful lip liners. I've used Sable to death. And then you'll get a lip cream, which is also gorgeous because it's going to be nice and long lasting, not drying whatsoever. And then you'll get a essential lip enhancer, which is going to be a little shimmery. You can put it on the center. You can apply it by itself. Really versatile products. I love that she's selling the minis because I love the minis. These are perfect for travel, perfect to throw in your pocket, perfect size. And you get a lot of product in these minis. Don't let the mini fool you. You get a lot, a lot of products. You get two milliliters or 0.067 fluid ounces in one of these. So if you are interested in any of the Jet Set collection or anything from Jouer Cosmetics, I do have a discount code. It's just my name, Serene15. That gets you 15% off all purchases on Jouer's website. My lovely friend Sarah Happ has launched a limited edition lip scrub. This is in coconut. How cute is this packaging? The little box is adorable. There's a little, usually a little bow on top of it. Um, I think I ripped that off. And then you've got the Sarah Happ lip scrub in coconut. It smells so good, I bet. Oh yeah, that's the perfect amount of coconut. Mm, I love it. And perfect timing because I just ran out of my peach one. If you want this, get your hands on it. They do sell out typically, and these are some of my favorite. So it's made with grapeseed oil and hobo oil. I'm very excited because Carez has launched the Wild Rose 
15% Vitamin C Spotless Serum. Love this packaging. Kres is one of my all-time favorite brands. I've been using them for years, and I actually heard about them way before YouTube. It is the Wild Rose Spotless Serum. It has 15% Vitamin C. You're supposed to shake it well before each use. I like that there's no like real fragrance. There's a slight rose scent, but barely. Fragrance-free brightening serum. Shake and watch your spots go away. Shake your spots away. A unique five-phase formula in half wild rose oil with 15% vitamin C for the ultimate in brightening and evening skin tone. And half is a powerful dark spot removal complex to target spots and hyperpigmentation. Along with the new rose vitamin C, Carez also relaunched the wild rose vitamin C brightening 24 hour moisturizer. And this is new water cream texture, the new and improved formula of the wild rose vitamin C brightening sleeping facial. So I'm very excited to test out the new formulations and textures. And so basically, you have a day and a night which is awesome there's also the wild rose exfoliating cleanser it's a cream exfoliating cleanser that purifies brightens the skin for everyday use I'll have to try this out as well I have some new sheet mask and sheet mask products this is from Aborian you guys know I'm a huge fan of Aborian CC cream this is the new Aborian BB shot mask it's a my perfect skin look Aborian mixes K beauty with French effortlessness and I have these CO Beauty sheet mask treatments which is available from Violet Gray this is the CO neck lift overnight wrinkle smoothing patch yes please I want her neck these are the overnight wrinkle soothing patch for brow lift and for eye and smile lift lift this stuff I'm definitely going to try these out. Maybe I'll film a video. These are pricier, but they're supposed to lift almost immediately. I feel like you can see the results back here. So I'll read more about it, but let me know if you want to see a kind of first impression video using these. MAC has a incredible new collaboration with Aaliyah's family, and this is the pyramid. How cool is this packaging? Mirrored inside, and then you've got this little insert. You've got this bag, which I'm just going to take out. So you've got this really kind of cool metallic fold over bag. A Mac and Aaliyah handkerchief. Really cool. Here is the eyeshadow palette that they've created. This is the Age Ain't Nothing Eyeshadow 9. The Baby Girl Bronzing Powder. You've got two lip pencils in two different shades. You've got a black one, and then you've got this pretty kind of like reddish mauvey shade and there's the signature on the caps of the lip pencils. There are four lip glasses all of which the caps have Aaliyah's autograph and then the glass packaging has the silver inlay. I also have four lipsticks and again with the Aaliyah signature on the caps. This really beautiful berry more than a woman a black lipstick street thing and this is a frost you've got try again which is a brown and finally you've got hot like which is a red mac is also launching eyebrow styler and these are supposed to shape shade and brow tint apply using small quick strokes to fill in and shape for a perfectly defined natural look the micro fine tip mimics the look of natural hair Let's try spike you'll open this it's like a mechanical little crayon. There's a spoolie on one end. That was the eyebrow styler and they have the shape and shade brow tint and this is in taupe. This is so cool. Like a calligraphy pen on one side and then a brow filler on the other. How cool is that? I can't wait to test these out. Finally I have some new products from Zoeva and they have launched this collection which is called Screen Queen. I love the gold with the light pink. It's really, really pretty. Here's the highlight palette for Screen Queen and it's the Superior Pigment Easy to Blend Highlighters. So you'll get three different highlighters. I also have an eyeshadow palette. Really beautiful shimmers. 
And they have the Screen Queen Complete Eye Set, 12 brushes and clutch. Little light pink and gold clutch. All eyeshadow brushes. These are so beautiful. I love the light pink and gold. I think it's really girly and cute. There's also four lip colors, and these are the Screen Queen Lip Crayons Dream in Color. Really pretty. These remind me of the Sicily Paris Fido Lip lip crayons. This one's called Way Too Soon, which is a really pretty nudey shade. This one's called Forever Jean, and this has a gold shimmer to this mauve shade. And this one is called Charisma and Glamour, which is a pinky mauve. So that is everything I have to share with you that drew my eye for New and Beauty for June. As promised, here's a sneak peek of what's going to be in this monthly giveaway. The giveaway winner is going to receive the James Reed Little Vacation Get the Glow. So I'm also going to include some of the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot. You'll get four of these, I believe, in here. Get a brush cleaning hanger. So you, it's called the brush bar. You open this up, it hangs on the counter, and you can hang your brushes upside down when you wash them. You are going to get some Carez Sun Care. There's the Nourishing Fluid Face Sunscreen SPF 30 after sun for your body, cooling face and body gel. My Jouer little pouch because I think it's so cute. Someone else will enjoy it a lot. Elements of Surprise ColourPop Eyeshadow Palette. Eyelore stencils for your brows. Ground Plan products. In fact, you're going to get all the Ground Plan products. Some Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick. Milk Makeup Watermelon uh, Serum. Products from Tipsy. Some Juice Beauty. Some Pacifica Mascara. Burt's Bees BB Cream. Eyelore mascara, some Glow Skin Beauty lipstick. There's also going to be a Lancome eyelash curler, some of the Ronavant Flawless Veil Illuminating Mask. You're getting two of these, not the same, but you'll also get, I think this one is the Kiss of Royal Tea Mask, Pore Refiner Primer, a bunch of other stuff in here. I'm not going to show everything because that would be a whole separate video. The one lucky winner is going to win this giant bag of goodies. In order to enter and be qualified for this giveaway, please follow all the rules and directions in the blog post. I'm going to link my blog post for my monthly giveaway. What you'll have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel, turn on post notifications, also sign up for my email newsletters where I email you every month about the monthly giveaways and any exciting news that might be happening that month. Follow all the rules in the blog post. You'll read the blog post. There'll be a place for you to confirm that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and there'll be bonus entries like following me on Instagram, listening to the podcast, following me on Pinterest, Facebook, all those things are bonus entries. All the rules and information is in that blog post and in the place where you enter your information to confirm that you're qualified for my giveaways. It's been the same for over a year. I know there's a lot of new people watching. This giveaway is for my loyal, active subscribers only. So if you're not subscribed, you don't qualify. If you're not a newsletter, email, subscriber, you're not qualified. These are for my viewers and it's easy to qualify. Just make sure you're supporting me and that's about it. If you have any questions, it's all in that giveaway blog post entry form. Don't email me. Don't leave a comment asking when the giveaway is over. It's listed. If there's any issues in terms of you entering your information, you can contact gleam.io because I do pay for that service so that they can make sure there's no spamming, no robots, and all the winners are following the rules. And yeah, so it's really easy for me to contact you. Please check your email. Once you sign up for my newsletter, you should get a confirmation email having you confirm that you signed up for my email. If you don't get that email, check your spam. Unless you confirm that you have subscribed to my newsletter, I cannot email you. So if you are a winner, I email you, it gets thrown into spam, and I have to move on to the next winner. So until the winner has confirmed with me, I do not announce the winners. I am usually emailing multiple people because people don't reply to their emails, and until I get a confirmation and that package gets shipped to an address, I do not announce it. When I announce it, that means that winner is confirmed, and I announce it via the original blog post in the original entry form. You will see who won. Every month, my inbox and messages get 
full of how to enter, is it open international, when does it end, who the winner is, all of that information is there. And when you actually leave me a comment or message me about who the winner is, it makes me know that you didn't read and that you're only in it for the giveaway. And if you are asking about whether it's international, it again lets me know that you didn't read the information and that you're only here for the giveaway. So that usually lets me know and puts up red flags. Those of you guys who've been entering every month, I know, I see, because I know you guys are answering those people and saying it's in like blog post. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys helping and answering questions. Um, but I, more importantly, I appreciate that you actually got our viewers and subscribers and readers of my blog and my videos. So thank you so much. Um, it's just a way for me to thank you guys for supporting me throughout the month. And hopefully you guys enjoy the beauty giveaways. If you want weekly giveaways, they're over on my Instagram. All you have to do is make sure you're following me on Instagram and be an active, engaged follower. And I pick winners every week and ship you a box of goodies of beauty products as well. I'm going to keep that up for as long as I can. Um, I am actually running low on products to give away. So if I do run low, I might take a little bit of a break and then of course I'll be back and running. So if you follow me on Insta Stories, you also know I'm going to be doing a huge declutter. Chris and I are planning to downsize this winter, downsizing our life, downsizing our home, and I want to be able to downsize my beauty collection as well because I don't think we'll have an entire room for my beauty stuff in our new place. We don't know where we're moving yet, but we are looking for a smaller place because we plan on traveling more as well as saving up for our first home, hopefully in the next few years. But in order to do that, we definitely need to cut back in terms of our rent. It's all up in the air, but I do know I need to downsize, so I've been decluttering my closet. I've been, if you follow me on Poshmark, you can see that. I also have been decluttering, um, I will start my beauty room. I feel like I have to do it almost like monthly at this point, but I'm gonna do a major declutter. I'm gonna let go of pretty much everything. <laughs> like, and not because I don't love it, but because I'm one person and there's no way I can wear everything before it goes bad. So keep an eye out for those videos, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching till the end. As always, I hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. When I read your comments and messages, letting me know how my videos really do bring you some relaxation, some me time, and remind you guys to do self-care. It makes me so happy, because that's really why I make these videos. It's for you to unwind, take your mind off of things, and remind yourself to take care of yourself, take the time to put on some makeup, take the time to take a bath, whatever it is you need to take care of yourself. So until next time, I'll see you guys back here three to four days a week, and have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye!